Hi everyone, welcome to Bharat Jain D365. So today, let's try to understand the sales order process order to cash with its accounting impact. So when I say the sales order process, when does the system start making an impact on the account? So let's say sales order process. And when does the system has an accounting impact? So before creating sales order, you might have a quotation. Again, when you create sales quotation and convert to sales order, there is no accounting impact at that process. So let's say I'll create sales order. So once you create sales order, this is just an order which is created in the system. Therefore, there is no accounting impact that is created on the system. After sales order, the next process is delivery where you post packing slip in the system, which is nothing but the shipment. So when you do the shipment, my inventory is going out, right? So from the system perspective, the inventory has to be reduced. Therefore, the accounting impact comes into picture. After packing slip, next we have invoice. Invoice will eat my revenue on my customer. Therefore, accounting impact comes into picture. And then we have payment or collection, if you want to call that way. So collection and this is where another accounting entry comes into picture. So this is my order to cash process which starts from sales order and goes to you know payment or collection and what are the accounting entries during each stage. So let's try to understand the accounting entries. So we know the first accounting entry comes into picture during packing slip. So let's take packing slip. So what happens during the packing slip? It is nothing but my shipment that is my inventory is going out. So once the inventory is going out, so inventory has to be credited because that is what system is going to be reducing from. Now before I explain the accounting entry from system perspective, there is something called account type. So what is this account type? MSD has defaulted few account types. So whenever you post packing slip, what has to be debited? what has to be credited from account type perspective system is already defaulted we as a consultant need to make sure we assign the right type of account so that's our responsibility so let's just add two column here to put debit and credit okay so now what is this account type so let's go to system now uh, the main account setup that is done for my sales order is done in item group so what we do, when you create an item, the item will be connected with item group. Item group is a place where we assign main accounts. So whatever main accounts we assign or when you select a product to post sales order, it is connected with item group. Item group is indeed connected with main accounts. So let's go to system, inventory management, setup, inventory, item group. So here you can see account type. So this is the account type that system is going to impact during the packing slip. So during the packing slip, the cost of units delivered will be credited and the cost of goods sold delivered will be debited. So you will not be able to change this account type. By default, system is going to pick. But what we can change is the what kind of account we're going to assign. So this debit and this will be credited. Now here, as I told you, the cost of units is nothing but my inventory account. So let's assign inventory clearing account. You can give any name you want, inventory clearing and invoiced. Or I would say delivered. So this is my inventory clearing delivered account and this will be asset account right so let's just highlight this what will be debited so debit will be cost of goods sold so let's say trade payable uninvoiced right so this is the account which i am going to assign so sorry uh, considering trade payable let's say trade receivable uninvoiced right so you can call it shipment you can call it delivery deliver whatever name you want to so uh, trade receivable uninvoiced which is also an asset account will be debited so this is what happens during my packing slip so once packing slip is done 
the next is invoice so uh, the second accounting entry that comes into picture is during invoice now from sales perspective right there is a costing impact also that means when i create a sales order let's say i'm selling at 150 but for that product there will be some cost involved right through purchase order or through the production process there will be additional cost involved so system will book one entry to capture that cost and one entry to capture the invoice amount or the revenue that we are posting that is why system is going to post two accounting entries so first what it does it will packing slip will be reversed so this will be the reversal of packing slip so my cost of units delivered would be debited and the cost of goods sold delivered would be credited for this we already have assigned main account so system is going to reverse the same main accounts now cost comes into picture so during the cost so what is the account type if i come back to item group you can see here cost of goods sold invoiced so this would be debited and cost of units invoiced will be credited so this is to impact the cost so here this will be expense account you can call it as like cogs right so which is nothing but expense so all the expense that's incurred in order to sell this product so here this will be my actual inventory account so let's say finished goods if that's the case or semi finished goods you enter that and this would be my asset account so this is the accounting entry for cost but there's one more entry unlike my purchase order process so i have done a video where i've explained what is the accounting entry system is going to post during purchase order process please do refer that for purchase order process so here there will be one entry for revenue so the, here my customer would be debited and my revenue will be credited this is the second accounting entry within the invoice that system is going to post so here it is going to come from customer posting profile and here this will be my sales account that i'm going to assign so this is the account type along with the main account which we need to assign in order to complete our sales order process or this is the accounting entry which system is going to post during sales order process so let's go to system create these accounts assign and create a transaction so let's get into system so we're already in the item group edit so as we know what are the main accounts that we need to assign so first during the packing slip cost of goods sold delivered and cost of units delivered so for cost of units delivered so this would be my inventory clearing so you can see i have already created main account inventory clearing shipped and invoice and this will be my main account type asset so i have already explained what is the main account type so then comes my cost of goods sold where trade receivable and this will be trade receivable uninvoiced so this to asset account is assigned then comes cost of units invoiced so that would be here cost of units invoiced so here in the cost of units invoiced one thing to remember is my inventory is going out so let's have purchased something from the same inventory it has to reduce therefore whenever we assign a cost of units invoiced main account just check for cost of purchase material the PO side what is the main account is assigned for cost of purchase material invoiced it will be finished goods or inventory semi finished goods so the same account has to be assigned for cost of invoice so this is something to be remembered then comes cost of goods sold invoiced which is nothing but my cox so which will be expense account so let's assign cox that's finished goods then comes revenue so this would be my sales account i think i have not created one so right click view details let's quickly create one sales account so click new i will name it as sales and the main account type will be revenue save and another important thing whenever we create this main account so let's also make sure manual entry is restricted so let's me add the sales entry here save 
So we will assign all the required main account. So let's go and create one sales order. So let me go to new tab. So go to accounts receivable, orders, sales orders, click new, select the customer, click OK. So let's select the item in the sales order. So let me enter the price. Let's say I will enter 150. So this is my sales order price. Save. Okay. So once the sales order is created, as I told you, there is no accounting impact. So now let's go for second step that is posting packing slip. So go to pick and pack. Under generate, click post packing slip. So in the packing slip, you can just verify the lines and then click OK. So you are about to post document without printing, click OK. So now system will post the packing slip with accounting entry. So once the packing slip is posted under journals, click on packing slip, click vouchers. So this is the entry system is post. So here you can see there is posting type. So posting type is nothing but the account type which system will default so you don't need to worry on that so let's verify what is the accounting entry or the main account that we have assigned so as per us tier and invoice should be debited which is cost of goods sold delivered so you can see cost of goods sold delivered trade receivable and invoice is debited inventory clearing my inventory is going out therefore the inventory clearing cost of units is credited so that's the first accounting entry now let's go to second step posting invoice Let's go back, click on invoice, under generate, click invoice. So verify the lines details and click OK to post the invoice. So once the invoice is posted under journals, click invoice. Click on voucher to verify the accounting entry. So here, as per the expectation, the first entry should be the reversal of packing slip where the cost of units delivered is debit and cost of goods sold delivered is credit. So you can see here in the posting type, the cost of goods sold del in, uh, delivered is credited and the cost of units delivered is debited. That's the reversal of the packing slip. Then comes the cost. You can even observe the amount. The cost of goods sold invoiced is debited. That is nothing but the COX. My expense account is debiting and my trade receivable, sorry, uh, my inventory, the actual inventory which is reducing, you can see it's reduced by the cost of 100. Then comes revenue, customer debit and revenue credit. So you can see your customer balance. My customer is debited and my sales account is credited. So that's the accounting entry during the sales order process. So the cost is picked based on the costing method that we have in the system. I have done a video on FIFO cost to understand how the cost works. So you can refer that video to understand how cost comes into picture. And this is my sales order amount, which is nothing but my revenue amount. So this is how system is going to post accounting entry during sales order process. The next step is to go and post the payment of collection and accordingly system will post my bank to customer accounting entry. That's about for this video. Thanks everyone.